Okay, welcome down to this video. This one was a YouTube request and it was just on how to install weather files within IESVE. So we actually have quite a lot of weather files to draw on just as standard and we can set those via app locate. And we can go through the wizard, select the various places, easy enough, acquire that the weather file and this is a custom weather file that I have installed. Select the nearest site, there's another custom weather file I have installed and what we're going to be doing today is seeing how we go about doing that. Now there's a couple of ways in which this works. The first method is that you pull some weather data and if you're working with an industry this is more than likely what you're going to be doing. Pull some data from someone like Sibzi and these are paid for weather files. So, and they are used as part of the building compliance process. So we might have something like the TRYs, test reference years, which are used in part L, or we might have something like DSYs, design summer years, which are used for testing overheating effects. So, test reference years, we can see that we have all the different versions here. Now that's one option. These weather files are not cheap and unless you're testing for compliance reasons, we wouldn't typically tend to use these. Now what options do you have then? We can see here the pricing for these. Ashra I'm sure has a similar system. Now, what options then do we have if we don't want to use these or we're not doing compliance modeling, but we still want more accurate weather data, more recent relevant data than what's on IES? Well, one option is, is to use something like one building. So if we go to, we could just Google one building, but climateonebuilding.org. And here we have access to weather files in a range of file formats and importantly for us, we have the NG Plus weather format. NG Plus is another modeling software, but the file format used in its weather files are suitable to be used within IES. Now, there's lots of regions here. I, for the sake of argument, I'm gonna choose something in the United Kingdom. And we can see we've got an absolute plethora of different places we can choose from. Let's find uh, let's see if we can find something in Swansea. Oh, Southampton. That that's fine. Let's use Southampton. Now, what should immediately strike you is that there's three sets of weather files here. We have Southampton AP, Southampton Airport. That would be Southampton AP 2004-2018, and 2007 to 2021. Now it's up to you which one you decide to go for, obviously. If you decide to go for this bottom figure, Southampton AP, this is the whole weather data they have on record. So whenever they start recording and it will be an average year. Any of these will also be average years, but they'll taking over a much lower time frame. If you choose a 2007 to 2021, for instance, well, because of the increasingly hot summers that we had over the past 15, 20 years, these files will report back, will actually be hotter in the summer than if you use an average over this duration. So depending on what you're doing, you may want to be using just the 2007 to 2021 figure. But for the, let's just say that we want that one. Okay, so we've downloaded that. And I've gotten the zip file and we can see that within this zip file we have a plethora of formats. Now, if I go to the IES file directory within, not the x84, not x86, but within the just program files IES, we'll find a shared content file. And under here we have weather. And I can just drag this EPW file into here. So Southampton, let's get the full name, TMYX 
2007 to 2021. Now, if I load back into IES and I look to app locate one more time, now I want Southampton. Next, next, acquire weather data, fine. And there we go, we can see that test rep, well, not test reference year, but that test year that we brought in, that historic data is now in the model. Fine, done and sorted. And like I said, if you're not doing compliance modeling, this is perfectly fine to be using, especially if you're a student. If you're looking at doing this for compliance model, then obviously we need to be using either those TRY files or DSY files. That's all we're gonna cover in this one. Thanks for watching.